lunch today is kind of like a bubble and squeak. It's mash and carrots and swede, and some tomatoes, a bit of onion, and a little bit of mushroom, all mixed together and being fried in a pan. Vlogtober day seven, is it? Saturday. <laughs> mm, I'm really hungry and waiting for my lunch, as you can see. Look what we've got there. It's kind of a bubble and squeak. Well, it is a bubble and squeak. It looks very orange. It's got carrots and swede in it as well. Um, yeah, so I'm looking forward to that. I've got one of my new dresses on today. It's quite cold out and breezy, and this is a really nice, warm sort of fleece dress, which I think looks really nice. And it's got pockets. <laughs> I don't know what it is about pockets. Anyway, yeah, vintage. I think it cost me five or six quid. Doesn't look like it's ever been worn, but yeah, lots of room in these pockets, which is a good thing. <laughs> so today I've already spent the morning cleaning up the house. I was just too tired yesterday to get on in with any chores. So all the house has been cleaned apart from my bedroom, which I've got to do, but there's new bedding on the bed and it's a beautiful day outside. I've just cooked my lunch. I'm going to enjoy that, enjoy the bubble and squeak. Um, I don't know what my plans are for the rest of the day, really. Um, we'll soon see, I guess. Oh, there was one thing I was looking into this morning. Um, a number of you had mentioned to me or messaged me and, and talked about the Gert and Daisy wartime cookbook. And I thought, yeah, that'd be absolutely wonderful if I could take photographs of all the pages and share it online. But I have to be mindful of copyright. Now, Gert and Daisy, who are, oh gosh, Doris and Elsie Waters is their real names. Um, so I've looked up online. Obviously, the last sister died in about 1990. Um, the brother and sister they did have, I believe, they had an older sister and a brother, um, they have died as well. Now, um, Gert and Daisy, or Elsie and Doris, were sisters who actually lived together all their life um, and they didn't marry or have children. So I'm looking into trying to find out that the, the publishing company has defunct that um, dissolved in 2016. That was Withy Grove Publishing. So I need to try and establish if one of the families still has copyright on that because I, I don't want to get in trouble. <laughs> now, I think I'm going to be OK because I'm not going to be selling it or anything. But I am going to try and I'm doing a diligent search just to try and establish whether there is anybody that I can contact about it. I don't think there is. So um, I think that means I have to apply for an orphan book license. I'm not quite sure. I'm going to look into it because it would be absolutely lovely to share that. Obviously, I've looked in Internet Archive and the Gutenberg Project. There's no reference to Gert and Daisy's wartime cookbook. I'm sure I'm going to be fine with sharing it as long as I'm not um, trying to sell it. But I still want to make sure. Um, yeah. But if that happens and I can do it, I am going to photograph it for you. And I'm going to put it on my blog as a free download because it's horrendously expensive to buy. I had a look on eBay and Amazon and it's 60, 70, 80, 90 pounds just to buy that small little cookbook. Um, but it is a piece of history, isn't it? And uh, obviously there's probably not going to be that many copies in circulation anymore. So, yeah. Oh, here, just to let you know, here are some Oh, I can't see because of the reflection. It's awful, isn't it? But there's a hair that I did about a year and a half ago. It's done out of pastel pencils. Um, and there's a hedgehog. Oh, you can't. There we are. There's a little hedgehog I did. And a barn owl. I love the hair. I do like that. I want to do more art, but I don't ever seem to have enough time. And here's my latest acquisition, which I absolutely love. 
and it's a, a print, a limited print. There's only 25 prints in the world. <laughs> Um, and it's by an artist called Tiffany Barber and this is called Gaia and it was done during lockdown um, so obviously there's I mean I, I love I absolutely loved it when I saw it so I thought I have to have that print so um, yeah it's taking pride of place in my front room and we've got some I collect some of resin things. I just collect knickknacks, you know. I get given some bits and pieces by my family. There's some crystal stones there. I like collecting those. This is an old dinky toy that I had when I was a kid. There's a great big Himalayan salt lamp there. And, um, yeah. And I have, of course, my trusty bookshelf there, which it doesn't close. The door <laughs> doesn't close. But I needed somewhere to put my books. So that's about half my books. <laughs> and there's somebody who was very important to me. So